Hi, Nancy Burt Priest here. Here is all my information. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I have another fun technique for you today. This is the die stenciling technique. I saw it on Linked by Ink by um, Ann Coffey, um, but I'm not sure where she found it, but it's just really a fun technique. I just added some of the, what are they called? Tinsel Gems 3-pack. Um, so I just added a few of those, but it's a very simple card to make, and I think it looks really nice. I wanted to pick some spring colors. So I'm using Highland Heather, which is five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter, and just two pieces of basic white at four by five and a quarter. So it's pretty easy as far as what you need. Now I'm using the Nature's Prints. Where did I put Nature's Prints? Oops, right here. I got junk all over the place. Nature's Prints dies and the um, stamp set. We're going to use these three. Um, I could use if that if I wanted to add some splotches in. And I'll have it out. Um, I'm going to do this at an art center. So if people want to use the splotches, they can. I just kept it kind of simple. Um, and I'm also using the dies. What did I do with the dies? I actually cut them out of white and I can use those different for something else and I basically made stencils with the dies. So the first thing I like you're on my mind because you can use that for lots of different things. Um, I like that saying so I'm just going to do that a memento black in the middle so I know what I have around there. Now trying to pick out the colors was the hardest part. Let me tell you, because I couldn't figure out what I wanted for everything. So I started with Bubble Bath because I thought, well, it's a new color. I kind of want to use it a little bit. And I just, no rhyme or reason, just kind of put it on there. If there's a little bit that doesn't come out perfectly, totally okay with this technique. Keep that pad to the side. Then I, the next thing I think I did was the little fern in Parakeet Party. Because we still have those, oh, don't do that. Well, I guess I'll be doing that. Let's see how I can fix that. Hmm. Maybe we'll, this one will be a little bit different. Isn't that exciting when that happens? Yeah. So instead of people going, oh, I ruined my whole thing. Oh, you didn't ruin it. We'll figure out how to make it work. I'm trying to think how I can get, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna actually use one of these and kind of block off. Actually, I think I'm gonna use a sticky note. And I'm gonna mask off some of this so that I don't get um, green on it. And I'm going to just kind of come like there. See if that'll look weird. Eee, kind of. Let's keep masking. See if I can do it again. So, then I'm going to do one more time. Don't you love it? I love doing this on camera because, seriously, I used to really dread doing this sort of thing on camera. But now it's like, well... That's what life is. It's how we live with it. Okay, so I don't think that looks too bad. If you really hate it, guess what? You can turn the paper over and not a problem. And you know what? Look at I even got my, um, my post-it notes in the ink. I'm just having a grand time here. And then I'm going to use Highland Heather. I just thought that was a really pretty springy color. This is probably wheat. I don't know what it is really. Um, so I don't know. Um, but I'm gonna do a little bit of that. Let me move it up so you can actually see where I'm stamping. And maybe I'll do a little more here. There we go. So, you know, it's, sometimes this is so hard. 
now I'm wondering if I shouldn't do splotches on this one just to see if we even like them. Um, so let me do some splotches. Hmm, what color? I think I'm going to stamp off the purple and make it real light splotches. I mean, it's real light. I probably need to re-ink my purple, my Highland Heather. I personally like them um, kind of stamped off, very light. I don't know. You know, this is a definite not splotchy. This is splotchy. Okay, so now I come back and we'll see once we're done how we like it once we start adding our, our stencils. That could make a big difference. When you're using blending brushes, always start off the paper. I'm going back to that parakeet party. I'm using the same color. Oh, now this is going to be exciting. And since I messed around a lot, let's see. Getting back my sticky note. Never know what I'm going to do, right? And that's totally fine. Stamping should be fun. It should not be a stressor. It should be, well, what can I do? How can I create this? Um, I don't know. Are we going to like that? Maybe I just have to rub a little in down here. Kind of blend it in because it is a blending brush. All right, tiny, teeny, tiny one here. So um, if, if you don't mess up like I just did and did a whole bunch of things, it is easier um, because it, it's not quite as hard to do the um, stencil. But of course, I decided I had to make it really tricky. Um, so, <laughs> but you know what? That's good because it's good to know, um, you know, there are no mistakes in stamping, only opportunities to try something new. And I like that because there are opportunities to try something new. Okay, now I'm going to, this one looks like it, it has other colors on it and I did clean it and now I am using it in the bubble bath. So I'm gonna come up with the bubble bath. I'm going to line it up. It doesn't, remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. Hold it down really tight, though, because if you don't, it'll slide, and that is problematic. Uh, I know, because I had it slide once, so don't do that. Um, and, you know, it's up to you how light or dark you do it. I don't mind like mine super dark. I figure I start lighter, and you can always go darker. But you can't lighten it up once you got it on there. So I always say start lighter. You can always add more. Alrighty. Alrighty. And the last one I'm going to do is the Highland Heather. I am not going to do the blobs. I guess I could, but I'm not going to. Because um, I put blobs everywhere. And if you come to one of my classes tomorrow, I am going to see if I can find my re-inker. For some reason, my re-inkers got all crazy. Um, and re-ink this. If not, it'll be a light color, which I think is totally okay. But I will have to get find my re-inker. <laughs> and, oops, I got one here. Teeny tiny amount. And a teeny tiny amount here. So isn't that just a fun, simple card? Put it on a card base. And it's a fun, you know, there's lots of 
um, stamps that you can use this with, lots of dies. Um, I just thought this one was a nice one and I really wanted the spring colors. So I hope you enjoyed this die stenciling technique. And here I'll put the, the final card so you can really see what it looks like. So I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.